All right, everybody, it's time to make my very favorite princess bow and in, uh, inspired by Sleeping Beauty. Uh, so this is her crown. This is going to be the back piece. And then we're going to do a blue and a pink bow because of the color changing dress. You can also choose to do two pinks uh, or a white and a pink or just any color. If your princess loves, you know, a special color, you know, make it make it her own. All right. So I've got my pieces cut out. Uh, it's glitter canvas and um, it takes some trial and error to cut so do a test cut and play around add more pressure try the deep cut blade the knife blade if you've got the maker okay so play around with it a little bit uh, I do find some pretty good luck using the tooling leather um, I think it's like four mil or 1.6 millimeters or something like that okay let me cut this out just a little bit okay all right sometimes the cricket you know it, it does an amazing job and sometimes it just kind of forgets what it's doing I guess <laughs> all right so I'm going to glue my little bow on top of my big bow so yeah Sleeping Beauty is my favorite I just loved the, the singing the songs the prints the dress, the fairies, I, I loved everything about that movie. Um, and so this is one of my favorite bows. Okay, so I've actually got a contrasting um, centerpiece. So I think sometimes that's fun to do. A lot of times I'll do the same color as the bow on top, but I think uh, contrast is fun every now and then. All right, so I'm going to glue that onto the back. Okay, and then I'm going, whoop, it stuck to my finger and not the bow. All right, and so then I'm going to layer that onto my bow piece. Now, what's important, you don't want to use anything really flimsy because this is kind of standing upright, and so you want to make sure that it will keep its shape. So I'm going to kind of glue that in the center. You can choose to glue it down further if you would like. I kind of like it up a little bit higher. So put some glue right there in the center. All right, and then push that down. Hold it there for a couple seconds so that it'll stay. All right, and then you're going to want to go over it and make sure you cut off any like little strings or glue pieces just to make it look nice and clean and neat. All right, and then add on your alligator clip to the back. All right, if you would like to use these on uh, upright, then you're going to glue it along the edge. All right, so there's a nice flat side here, and you glue this directly on here if you want it to stand upright. Um, but I just want it to go in the uh, clip in my hair in the back. Or maybe I'll share it with my daughter. We'll see. All right, and then I'm going to clip that on there. And then there you have it. Fluff it up a little bit. Open this up. Okay, and you've got a Sleeping Beauty inspired bow or just a princess or a queen bow. I think this would work for any girl who loves to play princess. I also have this as part of my good and evil bow set. So if you like the villains to go with some of the princesses, make sure you check that one out on Etsy. Thanks guys. Happy crafting.